Hello, hello, Virgo, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we will be pulling weekly messages. Please, universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors, let me see, feel, and hear anything that wants to come in for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Regeneration. Some of you are renewing your life, okay? Regeneration. Making something new, okay? Being reborn. Okay, is what I'm hearing. Um, you also have here poised. I want you to see the wings on this girl. Okay, listen, if you're a guy, you can have wings too. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we are all equal. Okay, so poised. St take something in stride. Take something very silently. Take something gracefully is what I'm hearing. Never ending story. Some of you are tired of this. Some of you are tired. I want you to see... The way this, I want you to see the way the wings went down. It's like tired of a situation, tired of something. You know, I feel that for some of you, there is something here that you are taking in stride. And, you know, I just feel that you are making something new because you know what? You're tired. You're tired of the same thing. We have here the magician, okay? Manifesting something new, okay? We also have here another one. We have the knight of wands. It looks like in the past, some of you were dealing with somebody who could have been young at heart, young in energy, young in commitment, okay? This person can only offer you the minimum, okay? You also have here. Why? Because listen, they're not fucking stable. That's why. Okay, I heard that question. Um, why is the hangman here? Listen, why is the hangman here? Some of you are stuck in a situation. You could be manifesting something, but eventually you don't know how to move forward. For some of you, you're just stuck in a situation. You know, for some of you, you may be afraid to be repeating the same bullshit over and over again. Why is the magician here for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Okay, here we go. Five. See, listen, this is third party energy. Okay, um, the, the five, it could be third party energy. This could also be family for those of you that do not want to, you know. <laughs> this is gossip. This is trickery. This is also the five of wands is... A lot of competition, a lot of ego issues. Why is the five of wands here for Virgo? For Virgo, why is the five of wands here for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here we go. Two of cups. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> you know what? I kind of feel... That there's somebody here who's going to... Who, I feel that for some of you, you're manifesting something else. I feel that you are manifesting a love soulmate. Okay? This is just the two of you. Okay? And I feel that maybe there's somebody here who's trying to interfere in the relationship. You know? Let me see. Hangman. Oh, my God. I can't even fucking make this up. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> Virgo, you got the hangman, not once but twice, okay? So for some of you, there's a situation that, you know what? You're self-sabotaging yourself if you stay in this situation. Some of you may be trying to manifest love with somebody who's really not available. And, you know, you're going to get stuck along the way. You know, you're just going to keep repeating the cycle and repeating the cycle, you know, I don't really see an out out of this. Why is the hangman here twice? Why is the hangman here twice? Some of you need to do some work. That's just what I heard and take it as it fits. Okay. Um, please, universal energies. King of Pentacles. Working on your money. Working on your money. Being very, uh, you know, successful. Being very stable. Looking at your shiny coins. You know, uh... This could also be somebody who spends a lot of time at work. Work is their main priority, okay? So you know what? Some of you are self-sacrificing yourself over someone who may not be giving you the attention that you need, plain and simple. And here comes the devil. 
Okay, I don't do reversals in case you see me turn that over. And with the devil energy, this is something that is karmic. It is low vibration. For some of you, I'm telling you, you're in third party energy. And this is only so that you can learn to not fuck with other people, period. Okay, that's how I'm hearing it. And that's exactly how I'm delivering it. Why is the devil energy here for Virgo? Why is the devil energy here for Virgo? The sun and the page. Okay, so somebody wants to give you something this small, whether it's an apology, whether it's a little fucking goldfish so that you can eat. Um, good luck with that. And here is the sun. Listen, things are going to get better for you no matter where you are. I feel that... Um, I feel that for some of you, there could be somebody here who wants to say that they're sorry. However, keep in mind that this is karmic. Keep in mind that this is an, a temptation that, listen, it is probably not in your best interest to stay within, you know? And some of you are hung up by this energy, you know? Hanging yourself up. Wheel of Fortune is coming in to change your destiny, change your fate, change your road listen change your yellow brick road okay change it to something that is so much better change it to something that's not gonna, not gonna require you to give up yourself to the point that you have to fucking you know rejuvenate yourself after you're done with this relationship listen that's what third parties do third parties are energy suckers okay um, they will rip your energy apart, give you a new ass, okay? <laughs> you know, and it's, it's, they're not fun, I'm going to tell you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Listen, third parties are not honored by the universe. All they bring you is a lot of fuckery, and I'm going to tell you, okay? Uh, Ten of Swords. The end. The end of a brutal relationship, okay? The end of a brutal affair, you know, because third parties do not, are not honored by the universe, you know? Some of you may have thought that, you know, that this person was going to be your happy. You may have thought that this person was going to give you everything that you needed for you to be okay. But I'm going to let you know, when you meddle in the relationship of someone, listen, whatever they do to someone, they're gonna do to you. And you know what? It is what it is. There's an ending here. Some of you probably need to let this go. Thank you so much for being here, Virgo, and take care.